G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I've had a busy morning putting my motorbike back together and then I just went and picked up some new fish. If you check out the weather, it's 21 degrees and drizzling with rain. It's perfect motorbike riding weather. Um, but I'm gonna go motorbike riding tomorrow, not today. But it's funny how fast you get motivated to put your bike back together when the weather's right. It's been in pieces for about a month. Um, so before we, before we get, um, oh, the new fish are actually on the ground over there. Before I show you the new fish, I've actually got to move some stuff around. Don't get too excited, the new fish is probably going to be quite underwhelming for a lot of people. But, um, I have mentioned it on the channel quite a few times and it's just a fish that it, um, is super common but I'm worried it's going to disappear because of how common it is so I'm just going to put it in the corner in the fish room um, I'm not going to plan to actively breed them or anything um, I just want to have them there so if I do want to breed them they're only small but if I do want to breed them to stock, restock the country or the state with some fresh fish I've got them there um, I definitely am fogged up and yes, I think you guys are fogged up, so I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Alright, here's one for you. Proper sidetrack. Do you guys, do you guys and one girl that watches the channel, shout outs to the girls watching. Um, do you ever um, find old projects and like have no idea what they're for? Alright, so check this one out. I drop a comment if you can think of what it's for. So there's a there's a there's a um, airline in the top and then it's a 25 mil pipe. It's got a a rectangle cut out in the side of the pipe and then there's two three millimeter holes drilled in it I have no idea what this is from but I'm gonna use this piece of pipe because I can't find any more all right guys see see that nice bend in there on that pipe yeah well this one's not so nice um, so you guys know how I make stuff with stuff I've got around the house today is no exception I don't have a 25 mil 25 millimeter elbow so basically I just put a, a piece of pipe like flexible hose inside of this and then bent it um, it does crease that way but it's enough it, it's it's enough that it's still got flow um, and also I didn't have a 25 millimeter joiner so I cut a piece of 25 millimeter pipe and put a slit in it and slipped it over and then also I didn't have a piece of 25 millimeter pipe so this previous old project, whatever it is, is now our stand pipe for this. Um, so this is actually going in this tank down here. It's got to go, oh you guys can't really see, but down the back there's a hole. Um, so this actually goes over here and in this hole. Wow, that's actually quite loose. Normally they're really tight. Um, and then I'll probably just put a sponge filter on the bottom of it for now. But we need to put an airline on it because we need a we need a lift pipe. So I'm actually going to get the sponge filter first, work out where to put the lift pipe, and the lift pipe will actually hold the sponge filter down from sliding up. All right, guys. Hot tip. It's a really silly little one, but all right. So these taps get expensive when you've got hundreds and hundreds of it. I've probably got 150 of these in the fish room. Um, I know they're cheap, but it adds up. So what you do is you hook your two items up. So I got that one running and that one plugged in. That one's not working. So we just put a tap on this one and we can use the one tap for both items instead of using two taps. Just a hot little trick for you. All right, so step one to the new fish. We're actually going to move the Demisoni down into that tank there. Um, you might go, oh my God, why are you putting that many Demisoni into such a small tank? And guys, I keep, 
a lot of my aggressive Mabunas in small spaces. Even like this tank here is divided into two and there's two colonies in there. Um, it just helps reduce aggression. And also these guys have slowed down breeding and also, um, the stress of moving the fish can actually like jolt breeding a bit. So that particular reason there is why we're moving these guys and some other guys as well. So we'll get these guys out first. Alright guys, so the Demasonia all in Franken tank. We'll see how they go in there. Might be World War 3, they might be alright. You guys know the Demasonia. Um, they're always a risky one for me. Um, they're always killing each other. But I do need this tank. So um, for anybody who doesn't know, um, I'm, I, I really love um, haps and like bigger Africans. So the Mabunas are more likely to, I won't say sell, because the other day I mentioned I might sell some Africans and I got a hundred messages asking me if I want to sell my colonies but and specific colonies. So we won't say I want to sell them, but it's a light thought in my mind. <laughs> uh, anyway, so if anybody who hasn't seen these, these are like 25 mil pipes with holes drilled in them and the sponges just fit straight on them. Um, they actually, they were quite expensive to build, I'm not going to lie, because of the, because they've all got 25mm end caps on them, but I like them. The tank's trashed, as you can see. <coughs> um, I'll give it another vac as well. I've already given it one vac, believe it or not. Uh, somebody commented the other day saying, I'm due for a filter clean. Yeah, you're 100% correct. I do need to go through and clean all of my sponges. If you actually go back in my videos, you would be able to work out when I last cleaned them by the videos. And now I'm making more of a mess trying to get this sponge back on properly. Check this guy out, guys. He's gorgeous. Um, Somebody offered me a lot of money for these fish just today, but I can't bring myself to do it. I bought them at three centimeters, probably three years ago now. So it's taken, they have bred before, but they bred at 18 months, but it's taken three years for them to get that much marble. Um, I will say on that subject but of the marbling, I sold quite a lot of display mails younger because they were marbling so then the males that I actually kept seemed to be a bit slower but that's all right I got some good money for the males <sighs> all right imagine if we just had a mouthful I'm checking all the girls just in case it doesn't hurt <clears throat> I gave it another vac but I didn't want to take too much water out and I'm putting the fish in first before filling it up just so that the temperature swing isn't too much all right so now I've got to clean the sponge filters in this one this one's got four sponge filters and two air lifts and I'm actually going to pull the air lifts apart and clean the inside of them uh, there's a little bit of maintenance that needs doing with these they actually lose air pressure over time because they get algae build up in the little um, one millimeter holes inside but I've got a real simple way to clean that up so I'm going to service them and clean the sponge filters. Um, I will say on the note of cleaning the tanks, I am due for a tank clean. Um, it's actually a two man job the way I do it. So if anyone's in Perth and is interested in maybe some free fry or something and has a day free and wants to come and clean tanks with me, let me know because um, my missus really doesn't like doing it with me and I can't do it the way I do it by myself. Um, it, it just doesn't work. Oh, I thought the Red Texas had eggs for a second there. Um, we're about to get eggs here. Fingers crossed guys, fingers crossed. I haven't had flower horn babies for a while. You guys know the last lot actually got eaten by one of these. Mapanga actually jumped out of the tank and landed in the bu that bucket which had the flower horn babies in it. Um, you can't write that. All right guys, I've got a nerdy one for you. So on these airlifts, they're 40 millimeter pipes 
I'm actually thinking about cutting them off there and putting a 32 millimeter reducer and then a piece of 32 millimeter pipe and maybe even do away without the elbows. I don't really care about the elbows these days. Um, just because there's, there's plenty of air, but I think I'll get better water flow going to a smaller diameter pipe. Um, oh, this one's a bad example. I might actually clean this one while I'm here, but see when they do get like that and there's lower air pressure. Oh, duh. That's, that's not flowing well because I've got two massive pipes hanging up there. Um, oh, and also these have got six millimeter lines coming in. I probably didn't need that, but at the time it seemed like a good idea. Oh. Anyway, I've got to get these back on. The water's literally overflowing, pouring down the back there. Um, definitely not a time to have a chat on the camera. All right, guys, all this beating around the bush. You ready for the underwhelming new fish? Look at that. We don't want no plant matter in there. We'll get that out. I promise they're underwhelming. I think some of you might like them. Some of you probably are like, why the hell did you get them? They're, they're redfin cadangos, cardangos, however you say it. Um, a few of you will be shocked that I've got these, but a few of you will understand how much I love these because um, how much I talk about them on the channel. And I say that they're a fish that like last year was so common and honestly uh, I've actually been watching these for quite a while now um, and I've been watching the price drop on them and then uh, like basically the guy that had these I saw he didn't get any interest in them um, I didn't lowball him I paid asking price but asking price was pretty cheap so I'm not one to lowball people on fish I always just I either usually pay asking price or just say sorry that's too expensive I don't I don't lowball just because I run a fish room and um, I know how hard it is to breed fish and even just pay the bills let alone make profit um, so I don't lowball people on that on that note pay the bills and pay and don't make profit um, there seems to be a misconception that I'm a millionaire. I don't know if it's in the because in the videos you guys know I'm really transparent about money and I tell you guys when I get money from YouTube and all that jazz but I think somehow that that has been persuaded is it persuade or, or that, that has been not presumed I don't know the word I don't know the word but anyway um, people think that I'm making millions. I can promise you guys, I'm not making millions. And I know anybody that has a fish room knows that I'm not making millions. I, I, I've actually done a full monetary breakdown on the channel. Um, a few, sorry, you guys had a really bad camera angle there. A few months ago, and I think in that video, I was $200 a month in profit, so $50 a week, which I don't even know if I'd call profit because I spend so much on fish, which I also explained in that video. I don't really have a profit because I spend so much on new fish. Um, but yeah, if you're going to start a fish room and you think you're going to make millions, don't do it. Honestly, the people that have got one tank and breeding one fish and then just have like little fry tanks and making more money than me. So I'm in it for the love guys. Definitely not in it for the money. I thought you guys would realize that from the videos. Um, I didn't think I'd have to say it out aloud, but I guess here I am saying it out aloud. I'm not in here. I'm not in the game to make <laughs> millions. Um, and uh, that was kind of one of the points of, that was kind of one of the things at the start of the week that upset me so um, if you were wondering what was going on there that's one of them there was about four different points that upset me at the start of the week but anyway so that's a new fish I didn't oh yeah I put them all in I got sidetracked talking about that but anyway they're in the tank we can't see them because of how dirty it is I've just put three centimeter fish in a 600 litre tank so um they should grow pretty fast uh, which is kind of silly because I 
have no desire to grow these fish fast. Look how fast this, clank, this tank's cleared up, guys. That's how much water these filters move. They, they, they clear up so quick. It's ridiculous. Um, these guys are stressed out. As it might sound sad that they're stressed out, but it's exactly wanted, what I wanted to do. I wanted to stress them out because stress equals breeding. Um, if you guys, so like if you think about it, it um, uh, I can see three Demosonia still in there. I'm gonna have to get the net back out. If you think about it guys, in the wild, the fish get stressed out and they think that it's gonna be hard for them to survive. What they do is they breed because they're trying to keep their population going. So sometimes stressing the fish out is actually a good thing. Well, not good, but it helps breed. Breed. Um, yeah, but anyway. Uh, and if you made it this far into the video, guys, my female stingray that got attacked, she died this morning. Um, I'm not really going to do a video about it, but all you guys, everybody that makes it to the end of the videos are, my, are like my main channel peoples. Um, yeah, I did lose her. Uh, the water was super clean. She didn't actually get any fungus on her back. Um, the wound looked super clean, but I think it was just too much stress for her. Um, I'm not upset about it. I've got the silver lining is there's more room for the girls that I currently have. And I think there might be more chance of breeding with only one girl per bay. Um, Cause I haven't had stingray pups for like probably nine months, maybe longer. The last stingray pup I had is this one here. That's, that's the only one I kept from the batch. Um, but I'll grow her up and she can be the replacement. Um, I'm kind of on the fence with stingrays. I'll keep what I've got. I've got no desire to sell them, but I've got no desire to buy new ones. So um, the only thing is if I do get rid of stingrays, like what the hell would I do with that tank? Um, so yeah, the option there is I kind of wouldn't wait. I wouldn't mind waiting till um, black diamonds hit like $1,000 and I might buy one or two of them and like or just one at a time actually I'm not forking out like three grand but it would be nice to have three black diamonds um, I don't really want to breed any more hybrid stingrays I, if I get any more stingrays I want pure black diamonds um, obviously it's take it with a grain of salt from the person you buy it off but the plan is no more hybrid stingrays for me um, the, th the four that I've got are completely unknown mix and I don't like that. Um, yeah, it sounds silly, but I, I would like to breed pure stingrays. Um, but anyway, guys, proper ramble at the end there. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. Drop a comment, let me know what you think of the new fish and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Actually, sorry, I'll see the members tomorrow. Peace out.